All right, welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial for 1.16.5 for Forge. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the folder structure that you will need to have in order for your textures and your JSON files to be read in properly. The folder structure itself is one for your data and then for your assets. This is incredibly important to get it right because if there's something misspelled or misplaced then textures might not display properly, loot tables or recipes might not be properly recognized. So it's actually crucial to get the folder structure right and we're gonna create that folder structure right now. Firstly, we will only really concern ourselves with this project window right here and the main thing is the resources folder. Right click on the resources folder and select new directory and the first directory we're gonna create is going to be the assets directory. Very important that this is plural, so assets, exactly written like this. And at the same level, so once again, selecting resources, right click, new, directory, data. These are the two main directories in which we're going to create subfolders, which basically comprise the majority of the folder structure for Forge. As a quick overview, in the assets folder, all of the JSON model files will go. And in the data folder, things like loot tables, recipes, custom structures, and even more is going to go there. This is also the first one that we'll tackle. So let's create a few folders in here. So selecting the data folder, right click new directory. And then this is going to be your mod ID, in our case, tutorial mod. Make sure that this is written correctly because if there is a typo in here, then we will run into issues. So really make sure that this is the correct mod ID in this case. And for the time being, we will create two new folders here. One of them is going to be loot underscore tables. Very important that this is an underscore in here. And inside of that folder, we're going to have a new directory. And this is going to be the blocks. In this case, with an S at the end. So once again, plural. And then going back to tutorial model, right click new directory. And this is going to be recipes. Once again, make sure that this is written correctly. It is very, I've seen this multiple times, there's a little bit of a typo in there, can happen to anyone, but just double and triple check the spelling on this because it's very important. That's the basic structure in the data folder. There is of course more, and especially if we get into more complex things, then we would need to expand this. But especially for the beginning, this will totally suffice and we will now move on to the assets folder. The assets folder is a bit more complicated, but first things first, we're going to create a new directory. And this is once again, tutorial mod. So this is once again, our mod ID, make sure that it's written correctly. And all of the subsequent folders are going to go inside of that. So the first one is going to be a new directory called block states. Once again, making sure that this is plural block states and nothing goes in there at the moment. We will then have a new directory called lang L A ng then we're going to have a new directory called models and then one more in sort of the tutorial mod assets folder that is going to be the textures and once again making sure that this is written correctly inside of both the models and the textures folder two new folders go one of them is going to be the block folder and one of them is going to be the item folder and same in the textures so right click on the texture folder directory block and also directory item now this is basically the assets directory done. To explain quickly, block states is basically will contain JSON files that can alter a block model by looking at the current block state. This is something that's a little bit more complicated, but when we go into block states, we will see how this works later down the line. The lang folder simply contains translation strings for given keys. So this is in essence, the idea of translating the game so that we have a way to basically support multiple languages. The models folder is split in the blocks and the items models. The block models are basically a model to show in the world and the item models are basically JSON files that define how an item looks inside of the inventory or the hand, or if you throw it on the ground, how that looks there. The textures folder should be self-explanatory. This simply holds texture files in a PNG format usually. And in this case, it simply reflects blocks and items here. Strictly speaking, the textures folder inside of it, you can have any folder structure you want. However, I would highly advise to simply take block and item in there singular as well, because that makes it a little bit easier to grasp. And it is a nice reflection of the models folders as well. Well, right. And while this might look like a very easy tutorial, I want to once again caution that this has to be co written correctly here. Otherwise, things might not work. But otherwise, we are actually done with this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. And if there are any questions, of course, always feel free to leave a comment. If this helped you and you learned something new, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. So, yeah.